What's going on internet? My name is JB and I am here today with the team builder for my week one match in the PCL or Pokemon Champions League. In week one we have the honor, the privilege of facing the commissioner of the league, our good friend, our good pal, our good buddy, Austin aka Garchomp the God. You go check him out. You guys know Austin, he's been on my channel a bunch of times. Been on his channel a bunch of times. He's like probably my, my best YouTube friend I would say. Love that guy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this, but uh, yeah, we, we have a... It's pretty cool that we get to play Austin the first week of his league. It's, it's pretty pretty dang cool. Shout out to the random uh, thing he used to the thing he used to randomize the week order. Anyway, his team is incredibly uh, threatening, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really don't have a good matchup this week. That's the first thing I noticed, like when I started team building. Is my matchup is kind of bun. So real quick, we'll just go over his team. He has a Zygarde fifty percent, Tangrowth, Honchkrow. Mantine, Bronzong, Raichu, Kanto with Z moves, Magearna, Manaphy with Z moves, uh, Lolan Marowak, Shuckle, and Mega Pinsir. So that's his team. A list should appear over yonder, uh, or a screenshot more likely. I don't know. Probably a screenshot. But uh, yeah, he has a really, really scary team. And uh, Z Rain Dance Manaphy absolutely just slaughters my entire draft. There's not a whole lot I can do to stop it. It's just. That Mon in and of itself is just a really bad matchup for me, so yeah, that's the main thing I noticed going in, is like Z Rain Dance Manaphy absolutely destroys me. Of course Tangrowth is, or is an annoying fat wall as well, I meant to say Zygarde 50 is also just a super, super like hard hitting Mon that's just not fun to mess with. Mega Pinsir's a jerk, Shuckle gets webs, um, what else we got here? Oh yeah, the Magearna, he has a Magearna, that was his S tier pick, so uh, funnily enough, out of the things on his team, I'm not that scared of Magearna. I'm way more scared of Manaphy and like Zygarde and uh, Shuckle, and just more so Shuckle because it's just a fat annoying prick. Less so because it's you know actually gonna like sweep me or something. Or, you know, like I'm not gonna lose to a Shuckle. It's just annoying and I don't want to deal with it. Uh, Tango is super annoying as well for my team. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go over the squad that we are bringing. First up, uh, I forgot to nickname my Pokemon this week. I just completely blanked. I'm like. I was too focused on team building and like not getting destroyed in this matchup because I have a bad matchup that I just totally forgot to team build at all or get not team build totally forgot to give my Pokemon nicknames like just completely but anyway uh, starting off we have a uh, choice specs Chandelure with uh, Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball and Hidden Power Ice the 129 uh, speed was four that's gonna be tough for me to remember actually hold on do I still have the I do still have a statement. Okay, cool. I, for, I thought I deleted that, and I guess I didn't look before I hit record. But anyway, uh, 129 speed is, I'm pretty sure, for max speed. Nope, it's not for that. Because um, if he's got... Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll explain that in a second. I believe 129 speed is for... Hold on. I'm professional, I promise. For max speed, Magearna. Uh, the reason I decided not to outrun Honchko is because if he brings Honchko, it's going to be Scarf. Because I know how awesome plays. So, if, if, he, if he brings that... I, if he brings Honchko, there's a roughly an 86.3% chance it's going to be Scarf. So that's why I just decided to not worry about outrunning it, just because I know how he plays. If it was someone else, I would have outran uh, the Honchko, but I, I know how Austin plays, and I just like figured if he brings it, it'll be Scarf, more than likely. But uh, ob we ha obviously we have uh, Fire Blast for the Tangrowth, the uh, Bronzong, the Shuckle, the Pinsir, the Magearna. Fire Blast just hits this team incredibly hard. Shadow Ball is uh, also just nice to have to have. Also hits the Bronze Long if he's for some reason heat proof. Uh, we can scout that out. Uh, it also deals with the Marowak. And just is a nice move to click against something like Mantine or um, Zygarde, potentially. Obviously, I have HP Ice for Zygarde as well. And then I have the Energy Ball as just a way to hit Manaphy if uh, he switches it in on Chandelure for some reason. I can predict that and go for Energy Ball. I don't think he'd do that. It's also decent to hit Mantine. I think Shadow Ball would obviously do more because uh, Energy Ball is like neutral, whereas so is Shadow Ball on a stab and specs and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Shadow Ball would do more to Mantine. But it's just, you know, it's nice to have Energy Ball just to hit them, just have something to hit them Manaphy super effectively. And I, I, we have HP Ice for the Zygarde, and I guess the Honchkrow. I don't know why I'd ever not click Fire Blast against Honchkrow, but if I'm locked in, I could just click. Uh, uh, Hidden Power Ice, if I need to. Next up, we have Superior rocking a Choice Scarf with Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, Hidden Power Rock, and Glare. Uh, the Scarf, uh, the speed we hit allows us to outspeed at 173. What is that at lattice outspeed? I want to say Pinsir. 
yeah, that's enough speed for uh, July Mega Pinsir, which uh, is we have Hidden Power Rock for because that thing's a little bit of a threat. And this is also our main way of not losing the Manaphy. As you see, we are Scarf, so we outspeed Manaphy and we hit it with a Leaf Storm. If he's not running like a Rendo Berry super bulky set, it should kill most of the time. It'll definitely kill at plus two or plus four or whatever it ended up being. Uh, if it's boosted, it kills, but if, it has a fairly decent chance of knocking out um, max just max HP Manaphy with like no speed or like no uh, spin F investment or uh, Rendo Berry or anything like that. Uh, if he's just max HP, it's a fairly decent chance of knocking him out if you know neutral. It, it yeah, just, we'll see. Anyway. Next up, we have Galvantula with an Expert Belt, rocking the moves Thunder, Bug Buzz, Hidden Power, Ice, and Sticky Web with enough speed again for Mega Pinsir. Uh, this thing absolutely destroys him offensively. He has no real switch-ins. Uh, Thunder hits like half of his team super effectively. Uh, it hits the Honchkrow, the Mantine, the Manaphy, the Pinsir. It hits four of the big threats, main threats on his team super effectively. Bug Buzz does a ton to non-AV Tangrowth, and it's just nice to have for Bronzong as well. I'm pretty sure Thunder would do more, that's a calc I'll have to run. But uh, yeah, and then we have Hidden Power Ice of course for the Zygarde, and then we have Sticky Webs to slow stuff like Zygarde down and just not have to worry about it, and stuff like Raichu and Magirna if he's running fast Magirna, or Pinsir before it Mega Evolves, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's just nice to have Sticky Web. I, couldn't, I didn't really need a fourth move. It, there wasn't anything that like really stood out to me as needing to have, so I just decided to run Sticky Webs. Because I have a Mega Mawile on my team, spoiler alert, as you guys have been able to see this entire video. So next up we do have the Mega Mawile, uh, rocking Thunder Punch, Knock Off, Play Rough, and Stealth Rock. And I don't have a nature, I need to get that fixed immediately. Um, cause, yeah, yeah, I, I really I really need to get that fixed. Hold up. Alright, I'll get, I'll get that fixed, that'll be fixed before the battle. Uh, cause we're not playing till tomorrow as I'm recording this, but uh, I just wanted to record it early because I'm in a recording mood. Anyway, we have Thunder Punch, Knock Off, Play Rough, and Stealth Rock. Uh, this will probably be the only time you ever see me run Stealth Rock on Mega Mawile. And the main reason I did is because Dawn Fan was just setup fodder and I really liked Offensive Necrozma, or a specific Necrozma set, which you will see here in a second. So I wanted Rocks to uh, wear down Mega Pinsir, wear down Mantine, wear down Honchkrow, and just limit his switch-ins overall. Uh, as, as low as, um, you know, limiting Alolan Marowak and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I just, I wanted Stealth Rocks on this team, but Dawnfan was just set up fodder for Manaphy. And, like, Dawnfan just does not have a good matchup at all in this game, and like I said, I'd prefer to different across the set. So, here we are with Stealth Rock on our Mega Mawile. Uh, no priority because, uh, Sucker Punch didn't really look too good? Uh, it... Play uh, Pinsir can't Okomi with uh, Earthquake and Fool, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Zygarde likely won't stay on me, and definitely won't if Sticky Webs are up, uh, which is what I have speed for. I have speed for Adamant Zygarde. Um, outspeed Adamant Zygarde after the Sticky Web drop is what that's for. Um, and yeah, he won't. I, I'll conclude Play Rough there, and then I have Thunder Punch for like his 17th thing this week to Electric. And then I have Knock Off for the Alolan Marowak, which after I click Thunder Punch once, I'm assuming he'll want to switch that in on me. So that's why we have that. I really do expect the Lola Marowak to come because it's a, actually a pretty decent check to Mega Mawile if you're not running knockoff. And I, that's another reason I'm running knockoff, uh, so I could do a ton of damage to the uh, Lola Marowak so he can't Willow me. Like, he would predict, you know, the Sucker Punch and click Willow, I'm just gonna knock off and get a ton of damage off, potentially even Oko it. So that's that's another reason why I'm not running Sucker Punch. So next up, we do have our Necrozma, rocking a Assault Vest because I'm really scared of Manaphy. <laughs> and um, Magirna? This is a pretty good check to Magirna, honestly, because Necros was so fat. And he doesn't have a whole lot to hit me that hard with outside of like a sword stance a little in Marowak if he does something like that. But we have Heat Wave, Photon Geyser, Power Gem, and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice, obviously, for Psyguard. Uh, Power Gem is really nice for Mega Pinsir, as well as a little in Marowak. I could have ran Earth Power, but Power Gem hits both, so I ran Power Gem. And then Photon Geyser is one of the best moves in the game. And then we have Heat Wave, it's something else to hit Magirna. And Tangrowth. So, yeah, pretty self explanatory set. It. Uh, it just looks really good offensively against him. Uh, those, the remaining four EVs will be fixed and like super training or whatever, it'll be fine. Don't worry about that. Um, and anyways, last but not least, we have our Crobat. We're rocking a really weird set. Okay, hold on. I forgot something. Uh, 129 speed was um, the same as this for uh, Max Wing Magirna. So, yeah, just continue on. Uh, last but not least, we have Crobat. 
with a uh, black sludge and infiltrator rocking brave bird haze super fang and taunt super weird set incredibly incredibly weird set but we have haze and taunt to prevent uh, uh man from setting up as well as preventing magirna from setting up and then we have super fang to do half to literally anything and then we have brave bird because brave bird's fan is actually really good against them i almost brought like a banded crevat and just went with full on Brave Bird spam, but it, I felt like annoying him would be better. And preventing setup, because if he manages to get set up against that, then I just lose because he rained as Manaphy is terrifying. So hopefully I can get a taunt off on that and then haze it if I need to. Otherwise, if he just clicks Tail Glow, if he's not Z Rain Dance, I'm fine uh, against that in that matchup. But if he is Z Rain Dance, then it's a little bit more frightening. That's why I taunt. I'm pretty sure Taunt doesn't even affect z Rain Dance. I'm pretty sure you can still click it, so it's probably not good anyway. So, But I'll still have Haze. And with max HP, I live in unboosted uh, hidden power, or uh, unboosted Ice Beam for Manaphy. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, like I said, uh, I don't have the best matchup this game, but I feel like my prep is pretty decent. He doesn't have a lot of things that like to switch into Galvantula at all, and he doesn't have a lot of things that like to switch into Superior. So, I feel like... Uh, the first three months could put in enough work while breaking stuff like Tang Growth and uh, Mantine, then and a little whack. Then I should have an easier time dealing with Manaphy and stuff like that. So, in Zygarde. And that's pretty much the team. So, I will see you guys tomorrow uh, with the game against my boy Austin. Thanks for watching. Peace out.